we go after people that are smuggling guns and smuggling drugs and smuggling children? Oh my goodness, yes. Final thing is this. The poorest southern border allows immoral behavior to continue. Evil behavior. Children that get smuggled across the southern border. Opioids, heroin, guns. MS-13 runs the entire southern border. This is why they fight so hard against the construction of a southern border wall. 95% of Border Patrol agents, half of which are Hispanic, by the way. The Border Patrol agents always get such a bad rap, but half of them are Hispanic. 95% of Border Patrol agents say a wall would help them better do their job to confiscate drugs and intercept children that might be in the midst of child sex trafficking. So anyway, I appreciate the question. My, my stance on immigration is this. Legal immigrants, huge positive, huge surplus for this country. You even saw me defend having more immigrants come to yeah. America. Border jumping and line cutting, it's not who we are. It breaks the law and it should not be tolerated. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Cook. Silence, open borders, left us. Okay, this is going to be good. Uh, I call him Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. With the whole immigrant thing, you said that, you know, we come at one of the, at some point, you said, oh, you come and you work hard. How about we work hard? And it's a guarantee. You used guarantee. That was the exact phrase you used that we can get somewhere if but you do four things but go ahead I should but audition. the whole like some of the immigrants yeah they may be illegal but they do work really hard to come here and provide a life for their kids and then they get snatched away and their nine-year-old little girl is just sitting there crying and bawling her eyes out why her mom can't be with her after her mom just tried really hard to work really hard for her life okay so a couple things if you break the law to get into america you're putting your kid's life in jeopardy too. True. We, we have immigration laws. We have not enforced them. Justice is blind. Justice can be something that must be equally interpreted. When that beautiful statue of Lady Justice, she has a cloth over her, over her eyes because justice is supposed to be blind. I'll, you know what happens for a legal immigrant? Let's say a legal immigrant from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. If they want to come to America, they have to prove to the embassy in America that they have not committed a crime for two years. If they get sometimes a speeding ticket equivalent in Indonesia or in Korea, their visa will be yanked almost instantaneously. So we have a double standard immigration system. One, where the rest of the world has to operate with a clean bill of health criminally, that they can't break any laws in their home country and they can't break any laws here because they might be subject to deportation or not coming into the country. Then we have a whole different set of laws if you jump across the border. That's not fair and it's not sustainable because what now ends up happening is you have anywhere between 15 to 21 million people, could be even more than that, where they're living in the shadows. And that's not a good thing. I don't want that to happen. I mean, if, if, if I had my way, I would say, yeah, of course, I, I would love to have as many people in this country as possible. But it also severely disenfranchises the 180 other countries across the world that equally want to be here just as much, that are not within economic prox proximity there. Um, so I understand the question. The other thing is this. There is not, there is isolated incidents of the United States government through ICE going after child sex traffickers, MS-13 members, but there is not mass deportations happening in this country right now. It's just not happening. Should we go after people that are smuggling guns and smuggling drugs and smuggling children? Oh my goodness, yes. Final thing is this. The poorest southern border allows immoral behavior to continue. Evil behavior. Children that get smuggled across the southern border. Opioids. Heroin guns. MS-13 runs the entire southern border. This is why they fight so hard against the construction of a southern border wall. 95% of Border Patrol agents, half of which are Hispanic, by the way. The Border Patrol agents always get such a bad rap, but half of them are Hispanic. 95% of Border Patrol agents say a wall would help them better do their job to confiscate drugs and intercept children that might be in the midst of child sex trafficking. So anyway, I appreciate the question. My, my, stance on immigration is this. Legal immigrants, huge, positive, huge surplus for this country. You even saw me defend having more immigrants come to yeah. America. Border jumping and line cutting, it's not who we are. It breaks the law and it should not be tolerated. So okay. thank like you for your... Did you have a follow-up really quick or... Make it quick because I want to get to as many questions as possible. So. I liked your, I liked your, uh, your answer, state answer. I just want to know, okay, so what would you do that make it more accessible for the ones that are trying to get here legally and it's not happening? So... I think we should, we should have an unlimited amount of genius visas and unlimited amount of merit visas. So if you have, 
if you are able to prove that you have a very specific skill, and there are anywhere between 30 to 40 million people like this worldwide, I think you should be able to give them a chance to come into America. We have huge capacity in this country, massive amount of natural resources, and usual land. And guess what? I get people in the conservative movement that push back against this. Charlie, we're full. I, 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 okay. I know this sounds silly. Fly from Chicago to Reno and tell me that we're full, okay? For three and a half hours. You know, there's massive amounts of land and huge development that we can have. I believe that the only limiting factor we have is saying that ideas will somehow run out. There, is, there are studies to show that a steady flow of immigrants keep a country on its toes. It keeps a country working hard and taking risks, and it keeps other people competing against them. I think that's a really healthy thing. Someone who believes so firmly True. in markets, I want people that always have new mm. business ideas. I want people that are willing to disrupt the status quo. I want the next hungry entrepreneur from Cuba or Venezuela or for South Africa. That's, how we've, that's why we have 85 out of the most valuable, 85 out of 100 of the most valuable companies in the world. And so anyway, I, I would say to expand it, it should be much quicker to legally immigrate in this country and much easier. We've made it so hard. And the president of the United States says it correctly. We're going to have a very big wall with a big door. And I think we're going to get back to the door so we understand that legal immigration is a healthy backbone to this country that we must celebrate. So thank you for your question. I appreciate it. We got to get to the next one, Seth. Thank you. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, so just, just to start, I'm an independent, so I'm not like a liberal or anything. But, uh, <laughs> but um, so my grandparents, they came here in the 1940s and um, they came here with like $40 in their pocket. Where did they come from? They came from Haiti. Awesome. Um, and they were able to build themselves up through real estate and they were able to send all my aunts, uncles, and my mother to college. And now they're all in, graduated and they're in their professions and my mom became a doctor. So I'm pretty proud of like- That's the American dream. Yeah, Congratulations. That's, that's what we're talking about. And um, also, like, a lot of illegal immigrants account for, uh, like, farm farming work and factory work in America. And um, it's because a lot of people in America are unwilling to do that sort of labor. And um, if we curb illegal immigration, how would you propose to solve um, the possible amount of, like, under- Sure. Right. So, performing jobs. seasonal work visas. It's that simple. Give seasonal work visas for people that are willing to do difficult agricultural work. So all the seasonal work visas, you get a temporary social security number, you pay tax, you pay payroll tax, you pay income tax. We know who you are. If you commit a crime, we know exactly that. And we deport you immediately. Now we have no idea. We have no idea. It's not, it's, it, no one can possibly argue that that's a, that's a sustainable system for the country. So that's a very simple way. But in order for there to be seasonal visas, you have to have a restriction on people cutting in line. The restriction would be a wall. And that, that's, the, that's a key element to re redefine, not redefining, but restructuring our immigration system, which is so horribly and terribly broken. And I, I talk about a wall and people say, Charlie, why are you against immigration? I say, I literally have talked so much about the value of immigration. I'm against people that come here in defiance to our laws and come into the shadows and intentionally break United States immigration law. I think it's a disservice to people like your grandparents that came here in the 1940s from Haiti. That's what's best and most beautiful about this country is people that came here legally. And so when they came here legally, they were, they were registered in the system. They were able to pay taxes, buy a house, start a bank account. And now a couple generations later, would you say your life is better than their life was? Probably, right? And so you're the story of America. So when I talk about the guarantee of America, almost very few people in America, unless your grandfather was Andrew Carnegie or John D. Rockefeller, very few people have it worse today than your grandparents did. Very few people, unless it was some titan or something horrible happened, it's 99% of Americans have it better than your grandparents did. We have progressively been getting better and better. And there's, a re there's many reasons for that, but I appreciate the question. Seasonal visas would be the way that we fix it. So thank you. Okay, this was really, really good. I never knew Charlie supports um, immigration, legal immigration that way, because his testament right here actually makes sense to me. And I agree with him full time. Like the story of America is you come to America legally and you are striving and then you are able to like take care of your family, um, send your children to school, grow. They are able to come out in a good professions, doctors, lawyers, and able to like make this society much better than it was before. That is a beautiful story.
You understand? But when you come into the country illegally, your name is not in the data. So when you commit a crime, no one knows who did that. They can't track you down. You understand? So um, it's kind of like hard for the society to thrive more. And uh, it's, it's worse than the wages in the country. Because now right now they will have lower wages. So from the first girl who uh, made the statement about um, people who um, came to America and are deporting them and their children is left aside and stuff like that, you come into a country illegally, you are putting your family at risk. There is always consequences for every actions. You understand? So you come in illegally, you put your children at risk. I know you, you came for a greener pastures and deporting the parents back and leaving the children right there, it's kind of like terrible. Truth be told, is I, I, I feel bad for it because it's, it's, it's hot. It's really, really hot. But justice is blind and I understand it. But what I know is that you come into the country illegally, you're actually putting yourself at risk and also people who you care about more at risk too. So um, if you want to come, you have to come to the right places uh, because you're not the only one in the queue, like other countries too, South Africans, Nigerians, um, Vietnamese, um, people from different countries. They, they still want to come to America. But if you are, because you're sharing the border with America, you think you can just jump borders, jumpers, and uh, you just come in, and uh, you feel like your name some people some of them are entitled they feel like their name should just be it should just be accepted and america is for everyone it's it's not for everyone like that it's for people who come in legally so that's the difference um also if i know there's some jobs that um normal americans they don't want to do they feel like um it's for people who are um like there are jobs that are, People who come to America illegally, that they, they, they will go for, that they want to just go for. Or people who also come illegally, that they want to just go for, like, um, the refineries and stuff like that. And some Americans don't want to do such jobs. According to what Charlie said, they should have a seasonal visa. And that itself, it's sensible, if you ask me. It's really, really sensible. Seasonal visa really works. And you'll be able to achieve an American dream, not fully, but you'll be able to be able to fend for your family who are back home which itself makes sense to me, you understand, than coming to the country illegally. Like, seasonal visa works perfectly for people who want to come and strive to better themselves and also to provide for people who are at home. So it's it makes sense to me. I think seasonal visa for me is a, is a green. It's a green for me. I think it's a go ahead um, plan. Uh, it's something that people should really consider doing instead of jumping borders and coming to the country illegally. This was beautiful to watch. Um, comment down below, think about this video. Give also a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in our next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all